بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از انگلش ٹرانسلیشن آف دا مجلس آف حضرت مولانا قمر الزما صاحب دامت برکات ہوم وچ ٹک پلیس آن سنڈے دا ٹوینٹی ففتھ آف محرم فورٹین فورٹی فائیو کورسپونڈنگ ود انگلش ڈے تھرٹینتھ آف آگسٹ ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی تھری حضرت والا از اسپیکنگ اباؤٹ دا سورا آف دا قرآن مجید سورۃ العصر So yeah, Hazrat Wala is saying that most probably it is the Malfuz and the saying of Imam Shafi that he said, if just this surat had to be revealed, it would have been sufficient for the hidayat of uh, mankind. I'll relate to you quickly and in short, I don't have that strength. So here yeah, Allah Ta'ala is saying وَالْعَصْرُ By the oath of time إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُسْرُ Verily man is at a loss meaning in both the worlds. Now here yeah, Surah Asr there's a consensus that this particular surah is a Makki surah uh, according to all the imams and mufassireen. Hazrat Abdullah ibn Abbas radiyallahu ta'ala anhumah is also of the same view and opinion. However, some mufassireen relate from Qatada rahimahullah uh, regarding this particular surah that it was revealed in Medina Munawwara. Now in this particular surah, Allah Ta'ala takes an oath by time, wal-asr, by the oath of time. And thereafter, Allah Ta'ala speaks about the consequences of this. And in all of that, Allah Ta'ala shows uh, four great principles, meaning if man doesn't use this life and his time correctly, it will lead to destruction. But there's four great principles that can take a person out of this. And that is Iman, amal salih that's good deeds, encouraging each other towards the truth and encouraging each other to exercise sabr and patience. Now, this life, that insan and man has been blessed with. It is a great treasure. It is a great uh, capital that a person has. Therefore, from all angles, from both sides regarding this uh, lifespan of man, which is regarding this time that he has been given, Allah speaks about both the sides of it, uh, destruction and success. Now just here in Surah Takatur, it has been said and spoken about the rivalry in amassing wealth has made you uh, negligent. That a person has so much of enthusiasm and greed for this wealth and in amassing it and then he starts preparing uh, the means to have this type uh, 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 in order to amass that wealth. And not only that, after that he becomes proud uh, regarding this Uh, um, wealth that he has amassed. Therefore, in this particular surah here, what is being said that man by nature has been created weak and due to which he would take his life and put it into destruction. Therefore, this very valuable capital meaning referring to the hayat and the life that Allah has bestowed him with, he needs to take benefit of it. 
And if he doesn't take benefit from this time and this life that Allah has given him, it will lead him to destroy his life and which will put him into khasara and into a loss. What Allah is saying, verily man is at a loss. So these four principles, Iman, amal salih Tawasi bil Haq and Tawasi bil Sabr is like the four principles for Falah and Sa'adat for a great fortune and great success. It is for this reason that this Surah now becomes so all comprehensive and it is for the very same reason that Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah says that if Allah Ta'ala did not reveal any surah other than this particular surah, then too, this one surah would have been enough for the guidance of the entire mankind. So Allah Ta'ala says, Wal Asr, by the oath of time, meaning which insan will witness in front of him, this time will bring along with it honor and disgrace. It will bring affluence and meaning. He will witness during this time affluence and poverty, health and sickness, comfort and grief, success and failure, sorrow and grief. In short, all these different conditions that will pass through the life of a man and whichever will, will pass through the life of a man. So, insan and man by in his nature, in himself, the way he is built by Allah is naturally weak. Therefore, due to his weakness, weakness, it is greatly and possible that he may lose this great wealth of life and time due to which he will put himself in a great loss, meaning in both the worlds. Now, listen to this here carefully. Dunya mein har khasara ki talafi mumkin hai. In the dunya, every khasara and every loss, it is possible to uh, reverse it, uh, to cover it up, uh, to do a damage uh, control, to do something to correct it. However, is khasare ki talafi ka koi imkan nahi. However, this particular loss which Allah is referring to, the loss of both the worlds where a person would not spend his life correctly and his time, then that type of loss, there is no talafi, there is no fixing up there at all except for those who have iman, who do good deeds, who encourage, they urge and counsel each other towards remaining steadfast and on propagating the truth and who encourage each other to exercise uh, sabr and patience. So definitely this zindagi and this life of man is uh, very very uh, valuable. So here, a person does what he has to do. He gives talim to his awlad. He may dig a well. He puts up a guest house so that it can be for the benefit of people due to which he can have uh, rewards for that. So he thinks that what will benefit him and, if he, and he does that. And if he doesn't do that, then even the essence is lost. What he has with him, he will destroy that. Asal Sarmaya, that capital that he has with him. So to turn man's mind and thoughts to this great 
reality allah ta'ala says in the quran majid in another verse ya ayyuhal ladina amanu hal adullukum ala tijaratin tunjikum min adhabin alim o people of iman should i not point out to you such a type of trade that will save you from the painful punishment from this year we learn that the life of a person is very very valuable and for him to take benefit from this time and this life the only way out is for him to tu'minuna billahi wa rasuli that he believes in Allah and his rasul wa tujahiduna fi sabilillah that he strives in the cause of Allah with his with your wealth and with yourselves your lives dhalikum khairul lakum in kuntum ta'lamun that would be good for you if only you know so in this life which consists of a few days if man takes it to its maximum capacity then two things will be achieved one is that he will create perfection for himself in this life and not only that after he leaves he will leave such a legacy that will be the everlasting good deeds the baqiyatus salihat and the hasanat that he will leave examples of which we just have given you about pious children or digging up a well musafir khana etc so this life is otherwise this life is very very short some part of it pa- passes in infancy some pa- part of it passes in a uh, play and futility some pa- part of this life passes in sickness and the balance of it then passes in old age during all of this there is some short time and in it there are many thousands of things that will prevent uh, uh, put it, put it this way obstacles and the web and the deception and the de- de- the the demands of the base desires and the flood of uh, trials and tribulations natural negligence uh, etc so in this short time you will have some very many moments due to which you can carry out those things that will bring eternal bliss and success for you so keeping this year in mind allah taala speaks about loss so that insan can save himself and make the necessary arrangements and in all of that allah taala has even prescribed it for you iman good deeds encouraging one another for the truth and encouraging one another to be patient iman that will bring the level and the station of the recognition good deeds will bring obedience and culturing of uh, the nafs and when this year is done when the ruh then leaves the body it will be a means of fortune so he doesn't only do this year but he wants the same thing for humanity so what awa so bil haq he passes that message on and he passes the message on of patience as well so that after him the silsila can uh, continue so he carries out the ahkam of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he adopts and is punctual or trying to be upon noble character and trying to pass his life in this manner in all of this year also he is exercising sabr 
over what is difficult for him in the good deeds that he is carrying out and against uh, the, the calamities and difficulties that come his uh, way. So when he makes himself and brings himself up to the point of perfection, he is not yet totally and fully uh, uh, satisfied, but he wants that for the entire humanity. He wants that for the next person. And just pondering a little bit on what we said now, that will lead to the beauty of life and khair and barakat of time. So when a person keeps this year in mind, then he will be protected from difficulties, pains, uh, trials and uh, tribulations. And if he has to go through something, he will exercise patience over it. So today here, in the dunya also, this loss and destruction that Allah is speaking about, that man is at a loss, it is because of the absence of Iman, good deeds and the absence of encouraging one another to the truth and encouraging one another to be patient, the absence of that. Therefore, we find there is this loss. So when a person doesn't reach the stage of perfection himself, then how would he lead or bring others to perfection due to which nothing can be accepted other than tabahi and khusran and that is loss and destruction. And because this reality has been proven by time itself. It is for this reason here that Allah Ta'ala takes a qasam and swears an oath on time by the oath of time. Some of us go on to say it refers to the Asr Salat. However, the majority scholars, Jumhur, say that it is that of time. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from this loss and Allah ta'ala give us the tawfiq and the hidayat to turn our attentions to Him, myself, my awlad, those are related to me, that Allah ta'ala keeps us steadfast on this deen. Not only that, that we spend our lives in this year in propagating and passing on this deen Allah Ta'ala through the barakat of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam accept this small khidmat and crown it with a qubuliyat. Allah Ta'ala bless us with fortune and do, and do not deprive us. So you people continuously are coming like this year. Just look at this. All these people have gathered. So many salihin. I have the opportunity to sit with them. That is uh, something great in itself. And Allah Ta'ala make it blessed. Make dua to Allah that Allah Ta'ala bless me with complete and perfect health. So that I can continue uh, with my work. I am still have some of uh, my tasnifi come these kitabs and uh, what which i'm busy compiling etc allah ta'ala bring it to fruition and completion and allah ta'ala accept it rather more so allah ta'ala make it beneficial for the ummah all of this here what can i say it is the talimat of hazrat Mawlana shah wasiullah sahab allah ta'ala make his maghfirat rather the maghfirat of all those akabirin whom we have uh, drank from their fountains and benefited from. And whether they have passed away or they are here and we're still benefiting from them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them with the highest of stages and keep them in a'la illiyin, the highest of maqams 
and stations. Allah Ta'ala accept all these du'as through the barakat of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta samiyul alim wa tub alayna innaka anta tawabur rahim bi hurmati sayyidin nabiyyil kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.